This time around, we'll bring you to an extremely rare adjoined jumbo HDB apartment in the estate of Haogang. And we think that you're gonna love this one, especially if you're looking for a four bedroom, four bathroom HDB apartment that spans over 134 square meters. This was two 3NG models, which is 67 square meters each. So one is on the left and one is on the right. And what happened was that in the past, one of the neighbor decides to buy over the other neighbor's unit and they both agree and boom, this is exactly what happened. So combined right now is 134 square meters and it gives you four bedrooms, four bathrooms, out of which two of the bedrooms are actually ensuite master room. Additionally, you still have two entrances and you can only keep one of the unit numbers and of course one of the ladder boxes. This kind of a joint jumbo is very, very hard to come by because you need to have two neighbors who consent to sell to the other party in order for this to happen. So it's extremely rare in estates like Haogang because uh, the default jumbo units are all actually located in Yishun and Woodlands area. So for other matured estates, it's very, very hard to come by. So why don't we start from the front? Let's go. All right, so what the owner has done is that they have decided to keep this as the main door. The other side of the entrance for you, they actually utilize it right now as a study zone plus a play zone. So later we'll bring you to there. So this area right now is actually a very good space for your entrance for you. So you can't put in like shoe carpentry all the way to the ceiling area. Or if not, you can use this space to mount your bicycles as well. And then the owners has actually removed the center wall for the entire living room plus the kitchen to give you this gigantic space in one shot so you can have an entire span of the living dining area. They have combined the two kitchens into one, putting this huge dining table right in the middle. So let's head back to the living first. All right, so this area, they have dedicated the center portion to be the center TV console piece plus a nice sofa lounge chair. This is actually the study area that we're talking about. So they've actually kept this door. If you want to use it as a back door, it is still usable. So this area is now a study space with a lot of carpentry being done here. So a total of 120 $20,000 of renovation has been pumped into this place about eight years back. Last year, the owners actually did up some additional carpentry work in order to spruce up the storage area of this home. So if you notice this space now, you can actually use this like a nice little couch area, a reading zone. Okay, just put in your toys and your board games. Use this space for your kids to play during the day. And then living space is great. TV console space has already been allocated there is no space wasted along the walkways into the bedroom. So all the space is actually pumped into the living space itself, giving you a lot of room to move around. So there's so much things that we want to show you. Um, but what we notice is that there's actually like three portions to this home. So the first place is the living space. The second space is that there's actually like a pillar right here. So what the owners has done is that they have done a wraparound study table zone. So this actually has enough space for your kids after school, coming back home to do their homework. While at the same time, you wash your dishes or you prepare your meals, it's easy for you to actually interact with them. Plus a lot of storage space right here at the top and pull out drawers. And these are actually the carpentry work that has been topped up last year by the owner so that there is a lot of storage space right here in the entire place itself. So even spaces like this, there's a lot of storage so you can actually utilize them to great use. Now guess how many air cons are there in this entire place? So there's a total of seven air conditioned units, two in the living room, one actually in this study room. So you can also install a sliding panel door here. The aircon is already done, so you can use this as a separate uh, study room itself. So let's have a look at the first bedroom. So this room is a common room without an ensuite. You can fit in nicely a queen bed plus wardrobe, side tables. If you want to put in like a small study table, it's still doable as well. And then we come to the first master room. All right, so this master room has now been utilized as the kids room. So as you can see, it is actually a very elongated room. You can fit in like a nice single bed here, plus a bunk bed here, a mini little couch area. Wardrobe space is at a corner. Um, this entire space actually 
can be for your entire wardrobe space plus there's an additional space there as well but importantly is that your kids will get to have an ensuite of their own and uh, coming to the kitchen it is actually now two kitchen combined into one space now some of the adjoined jumbo units uh, some of the owners actually use half of the kitchen to be the fifth bedroom so you can actually segregate this portion here into your fifth bedroom having your own ensuite bathroom at the back so it is very flexible if you own an adjoined unit you can have a max space of up to five bedrooms. If you like this concept right now, which is like the open kitchen concept, this is great because the dining space gives you a lot of interaction space that you have with your family, especially towards the study zone, plus the living area itself. So let's check out the kitchen carpentry. This portion here is used for your cooking area, plus your washing zone. There is like additional pantry area right here. There's also like a lot of storage space right here as well. Built-in oven is already done. A space allocated for your microwave oven. So window grills has all been done. So what we love about the home itself is that it's also north-south facing. There's no direct afternoon sun. It's also single loading. So if you check out the windows at the front and the back of the house, you have like huge panels of windows spanning across the entire space, bringing in all the natural light that you need right here. So this is on level eight. It is very, very breezy right here if you open up all your windows. This space then is actually your guest bathroom. So this is the third bathroom that we're talking about. Um, we've got to head back to the front again. All right, so this is actually the third bedroom and uh, there's a storeroom for you here as well to keep all your storage needs. And uh, this room is actually a mirror image of the first room that we showed you. You can fit in a queen bed right here, but now it's actually used as a study room area plus a nice sofa bed right here. The wardrobe is already intact, flooring are parquet flooring. So in terms of the electricals, the plumbing work, they're all renovated like eight years back. So the four ceiling plus the downline is all very, very well maintained. All right, so let's have a look at the master room. So as you can see right here, this room can fit in like a king bed, two nice side tables. So the sliding panel door has already been done and you have your own ensuite which has been renovated. So that means that you actually save a lot of your renovation costs up front. You can literally just move in with luggage right here itself. So let's talk a little bit about the location. This area is very popular with Holy Innocence Primary School because it's just like within 200 meters away, walking distance, sheltered all the way. So your kids can just walk to Holy Innocence Primary School back gate without crossing the road. You have three major coffee shops, two of which are actually 24 hours coffee shop. You're actually being surrounded by three to four huge provision shops that opens until about 11 p.m. Plus there's one new one that's right opposite that opens 24 hours. So in terms of food, in terms of your provision needs, over here, you have almost everything that you need. Importantly is that you actually situated just one bus stop from Haogang MRT station. So if you want to walk, it takes you about seven to eight minutes walk. In future, when the cross island line is ready in about 2030, that will be a main interchange for the MRT stations. All right, so if you would like to view this place, check out the link right down below. Give a call to my listings manager, I'm Melvin Lim, Properly Brothers. As always, we're happy to show you the place. All right, so if you like this home tour, click like, subscribe, or leave a comment down below, and we'll be happy to show you the place.